All right, here we are. I'm thinking of making a theme theme song, and you get get a little tour. Um, so what you everybody wants to see in the in the cupboards, and so I, I would start the theme song with like a oh here's the oven kind of, and here's the tea and the then oh what's in this cupboard? That's the coffee, and then anyway it'll be cool. It'll be a bit, uh, um, oh, yeah, don't look at the, the dirty dishes, but you can look in here. I mean, you can look in the cupboards, but it just, it says do not. And <laughs> nothing is, don't need that, uh, for, for baking. Oh, wow, don't look in the sink. But, okay, I I mean, I'm telling you, people come over here and they're like, I already, I honestly, I already got everything out of the, the fridge I need. <laughs> yeah, what else do you, what else do you need? I mean, okay, did I, yeah, okay, that's, that's cheese, that is not, uh, <clears throat> that's not, uh, what do you call it? The carrots, yeah, I'm doing carrots. Uh, so we got a half a ramen. Don't need that today, okay. Uh, right, but I have not gone into this cupboard yet. Okay, so this theme song is going a little long, I see. <laughs> Man, oh yeah, I okay, can cut cookbooks. Don't need any of these. Uh, <laughs> oh, speaking of cheese. Someday I'll show the centerfolds of the cheese book. It's, look, it folds out and you can see all the cheese in the whole world. But well, all that I really need today okay, is the flowers. And wow, I'm going to make myself sick thinking of watching this stupid thing. I'm not planning on that. So here is right, uh, okay, I'm just getting everything out that I need for a carrot cake. And then what else is why am I looking in here? Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Maybe I'll that is surprising. Uh, okay. Let me pick this up. Ooh, some more tea. And applesauce. So, I, it, it's crazy. People come over to the museum and they're like, Okay, you can make yourself a home. And then they, uh... How do I flip this around while I'm filming? There should be like a button, you know. Um, but then what they do is, the first thing they do is like go into the cupboard and you're thinking like, what is this? You know, I could probably just edit this out. Okay, I gotta flip. So supposedly you cannot flip the stupid thing while you're filming. And besides, so, well, I don't know if I'm going to keep the intro tune on there. I, I really got to work on that clearly. We are not, but it's not like you press for time. So, what else do we need? Oh, I, I should have done like the theme song for this part too, because everybody wants to see in the kitchen. I, I think that is bizarre though. I mean, who goes to somebody's kitchen and just starts rummaging around? But you get all kinds of people in this strange world. Now here is... Oh, right. I need one more... Two more tools for the carrot cake. And a spoon. So what was I going to talk about? Not carrot cake. That's extremely dull. So 
I did remember. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed because the, the, I was just looking on the C-SPAN and that one um, person, I don't know who it was, but she was, she was the author and doing a book that she wrote about a billion dollar industry. And that would be good to learn how to make a billion dollars. Um, but she was saying that I would have liked to listen to her because she said that her family got into it. Um, Herbalife or something? And everybody in her family started selling. That's, that's how it goes in her family. They, like one person starts selling something and then the next person starts selling something. And before she knows it, everybody in her family is like selling Herbalife or something. So, that's curious. So, how many carrots do you need for carrot cake? More than that. The problem was that I always run into with carrot cake because we like to serve uh, for people to eat it with, you know, you don't like want a cake. You want like more of a cookie. I think I've spoken of the cookie cake spectrum and the former is a little bit better for having on the table. You can, that way people don't have dishes and can just kind of treat themselves and not, not worry about like getting up and get, getting like, I'm probably not going to need all that. Oh, I gotta get it. This is the secret ingredient for a carrot cake. Because I could probably use more than one of these. But. So, yeah. I am working this week. <laughs> Speaking of psycho vampires, that, that is the classic, and now I'm done. You, there's all these different, but then obviously it means I'm not done because it's, or, or now, uh, you can say something to talk about that, uh, technique. So I'm going to get rid of the, get the garbage off the table. Get the butter. No, not yet. Okay, first things first. Grate a couple carrots. So, what you do when when I'm writing my paper this time is going to be very simple paper. I'm going to separate. The, it's going to be like the simplicity of, of one, one common faith. When people hear it, they're like, oh yeah, well obviously every religion is, believes in the same thing. And that's, that's great and all. It's good. I'm going to start out with that, with the senses. Because I'm not studying religion, I'm studying psychology but uh, it's each the the abstract mind and the uh, or the rash or the abstract capacity and then the uh, the the mind is it, it uses concrete in order to understand the it uses like real real world five senses in order to understand um what do you call it? The soul, and so that's what the mind is is uh, is used for, and it uses reason by means by means of the five senses, and so I'm going to separate out reason and rationality. Because supposedly the philosophers all use. 
Okay, you're gonna do them all. Uh, the, the philosophers use uh, the rational mind as a synonym for the soul. And so rationality is different from reason. It includes such things as like, for example, you use five carrots and they're in your, in your ooh, careful with the grape. You're relating with the world in some sense. When you use rationality, I think that the international language is numbers but obviously we're a long way from one language but eventually according to Kafka the psychologist not the person in the institution the, the there's this there's the psychologist Kafka spelled different and then there's the psych there's the psych the psychologist Kafka and the Psycho Kafka, the one that ended up actually in it, um, sanitarium, and he looks he looks like he's with it at least for the last little while of his life. And Kafka says that someday there will be a going to stir this up isomorphic structure to the universe, wherein you could use coding perhaps. Or some some manner of you, of all everything is numbers. So um, you have like carrot one, two, three, four, five, and yeah. So that's that's what the senses are like, and ultimately they're all they all become reason, and that's useless sort of unless you use rational your rational mind and say okay people don't really want that much carrot especially for for yeah like the, oh yeah the, the, the main point uh, the rational mind is that you're gonna So the paper is like, what? What is this about? Because this is not philosophy paper. So what's the difference between somebody just talking and science? Well, I can tell you that sci science isn't like. Uh, well, I'm not just gonna say oh this is this is how it is people use five senses you have to do a test and say like okay what do you see what is the different stuff in your life and then Right, but what does this have to do with my paper? So, because I'm not just like writing a paper, it's it's about, um, well, I'm actually in a cool, cool class right now, but it's about, oh, right, because I'm still talking. It, um, it's about, Like drugs and or something or substance abuse. So pe people who will they ha they all have a, a reason for for uh, giving um, for using substances and the va the value system, right? Um, so everybody has different values that are in different proportions and they actually get 
they, they associate um, different kinds of drugs with different values. Is that good? And at the then it becomes a, a substance abuse disorder because obviously everybody is abusing substances, but uh, it's a disorder when you do it uh, at the harm or or to or not even just harm, but like when it just is not good for you anymore. And it's it's pretty obvious when somebody is is intoxicated. When, you know they're using intoxic they use intoxicated substance and that's that's uh, because they they think it's gonna do something um, so you, you my paper is gonna be like you ask them what is their re now this is this is cool they actually have a, a nice survey they've developed and they have asked people, they're like, hey, you, why are you doing this? Um, and then they tell them different, um, yeah. So that's their reason for using substances. So what you've seen I do is separate the carrots and the apple. I could probably use more apple. And this carrots mix with the, the, now you can see immediately why is this end up being such a wet mess uh, of the recipe and it's more like a cake. And the problem is that I end up putting in too much flour and I wish that I could turn it into a candy because when you, you're dealing with something so liquid, if you throw it in the oven, if you do it right, it'll become like a candy. But um, if you do it wrong, it'll become a cake. And so you can leave a cake on the counter for a long time and it then becomes a candy. However, with the carrot cake, for some reason it likes to mold and so you cannot leave it on the counter. You have to eat it fast and while well, it's still it's through the cake. So I wish that I could skip the cake part and just go straight to like a candy cookie kind of thing. Um, and I've been trying to work on that. So I, I'm gonna try to lean towards the wet end of the spectrum And so what I did was I kind of lightly, slowly mix in all the wet into, oh, get the oven on. Three, 300, three, maybe a little higher, that'll skip the candy, 325. Because when you're baking candy, you actually have to, or on the stove top, they have all these special, whatever, um, stuff and it's like, it's delicate science there. So maybe if I do like 325 instead of just 300 or whatever. So what I do is a very slow incorporation and don't over mix it. I, I think that I've shared that before. And I'm, and I'm very tempted right now. I'm seeing the luster of the liquid, and I'm thinking more flour because, oh yeah. But instead of flour, I'll throw in something like these. These are, you can actually, I've seen it before. So this is a good idea. Okay, so what am I going to do with this paper?
I don't, I don't know. How many of these go in here? So, I'm gonna probably just... It's gonna be easiest if I just focus on one sense. Um, and everybody uses drugs usually for the sensation of... What did they use it for? Like to mess with? Them. <laughs> Honestly, I think I think I think that it's mostly about. I mean, get real. It's about memory, and they're using it in in their sixth sense, not any of their five, in order to just mess with their cognitive function, so that way they don't have um, like everything in order um, when mm, mm, looks good what am I judging here I'm just kind of like looking at it seeing if it is incorporated I mean obviously it's going to do it on its own in the oven but you can like turn it over and be like Oh, okay, is there enough raisins everywhere kind of thing? Did I forget any ingredients? Too late. So... Yeah, I, I would have preferred to listen to that girl on book talk, but what can you say? Okay, but how does, how does that, what do you call it, using your senses tie into anything related to science? Because isn't science just all about numbers and stuff? Real question. Because people do that like, well, do this is, yes, uh, I, I hate the, that when, I've seen that so much, especially like on C-SPAN, sometimes you get these people on there and they are, they're, they're working it and you're like, okay, whatever works for you, but you, you it's birds of a feather. And wow, this is looking so good. So, I mean, the reality is these people are, they have some mental illness where they, they aren't even using all their, their senses anymore. They're just, everything's messed up, so. So they aren't, they aren't using their rational mind. So that's like my conclusion or something. Okay. Because you have to have all your reason in order to have ration. Very cool. Yeah. It's a finished product. Jenna. Stay warm. And then. A little. Oh, little fire here. Cool.